Hey everyone, welcome to the first ever auction slash buy it now that I've ever done on here. Uh, I've seen a lot of people doing auctions and stuff and uh, I thought, well, I've got some extra stuff laying around and occasionally I go around and I can find things at a really decent price. And uh, well, you guys see me with my collection. This is a way that you can add to your collection. Now, I will tell you that most of these are not going to be a plus premium grade stuff in this very first auction. It's just stuff that while I was going around, I happened to notice and I thought, you know, maybe some of my viewers would actually like to have some of this stuff. So if I was able to pick it up for a great price, uh, I decided I was going to pick it up and share that with you guys. Now, some of these items are stuff that I found in circulation. Uh, some of these items were throw-ins for other items that I bought. And, of course, some of these items I have hunted out and even featured on the channel at one point. I have picked out a total of five lots, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm going to bring out the lot. I'm going to tell you what it is, describe the lot the best that I can. And I'm going to give it a buy it now price, okay? Which means the first person that puts down in the comments that they want that item at that price can get it. However... I will also put out a starting bid. So if you wanted to try to get it for a lesser price, you can put out your best offer based on that starting bid. Now the rules for the bidding, if the note is under $20, bids have to be in at least 50 cent increments, okay? Uh, if the note is $20 to $100, then bidding will be at it increments of at least a dollar. And once we're over $100, bids will be at least $5. Now I'm gonna open this up as soon as this airs and you can start bidding and bidding will close um, next Monday at midnight. So you've got one full week to do this. Um, and like I said, anybody who wants it for the buy it now price, they will get it at that price. As far as shipping goes, I'm going to cover shipping, so don't even worry about that. <laughs> Whatever the price you bid, that's the price you're going to pay. As far as payments, I'm going to go with either PayPal or Cash App. And uh, if you don't have Cash App, um, there is a way that uh, when you sign up, I can refer you to Cash App and you'll get like 10 free dollars from Cash App that way. So if, you, if you've never done Cash App, uh, you can send me an email at stupluback at msn.com and I can send you a thing and we can actually both get a couple bucks that way. Uh, I get a couple bucks for referring. You get a couple bucks for being referred. And, uh, you know, that's just another way to do it. So PayPal is one way. Cash App is another. Yes, I will take good old-fashioned checks and money orders as well. Anyway, let's take a peek at what I'm going to do. All right, number one, lot number one. Now, when if you are bidding, make sure to put hashtag number one or hashtag whichever number it is for the item that you're bidding on. Uh, lot number one, these were a bunch of throw-ins that I had gotten. Um, anytime I had picked up something, uh, people would, you know, be willing to throw in this th or that. And, uh, you know, they aren't in the greatest of shape, but they were a bunch of throw-ins. And if you don't have them, they are kind of neat to have. Condition is not the greatest. There are three notes. First note, this is just an old 1957 silver certificate. Not in the greatest of shape. Uh, book says in VF8, uh, you're talking $2.50, which is probably true, but for like $3.50, you can get a really nice one. Um, I also have, here, I'll bring this one up a little closer to the screen. You can see it's creased, it's dirty. Like I said, this was a throw-in. It's just taking up room. If you don't have any silver certificates, this would be a way to get it. Uh, I also have a 1928G $2 note, once again, also a throw-in, um, and it's got the Monticello on the back, so that's kind of neat. If you don't have a 1928 $2 bill, 1928 Red Seal, uh, good way to get it. And, of course, I have a Red Seal $5 from 1963, $5 legal tender. Once again, you can see why it was a throw-in. It actually does have a little bit of a tear on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, this is all lot number one. Um, face value on this is five, six, seven, eight dollars. You can take this to the bank and get eight dollars for it. Remember, I'm covering shipping. If you want to buy all three of these notes, the buy it now price is a whole fifteen dollars. 
15 bucks, you can have all three of these notes. And if you think 15 is too much, auction will start at 11 bucks. So $11 would be the first bid or the minimum bid. You can bid any amount you want between 11 and 15, bid as often as you need to. Uh, like I said, first person of 15 is going to get it. If nobody gets the 15, whoever has the highest auction bid will take these three notes. So yeah, that can definitely fit in everybody's budget. And if you don't have any older notes, a good way to get your feet wet. So that is item number one. Item number two on the list. Item number two, these are notes that I have found in circulation. Uh, so that makes them kind of cool. They've probably been on my channel at one point or another. Uh, what do I have here? Well, first note is, this is a 2009, and it is a binary. It's all twos and fours. Now, it's not in the greatest of shape, of course. Uh, if it was, a, a binary can probably go for 10 to $20. Um, this, you're probably talking somewhere in, in the realm of, you know, probably about $10 in this condition, maybe a little less. Uh, that is the binary. And then I have a radar, uh, 2017 radar, five, six, one, five, five, one, six, five. So on the outside working in, you've got fives, sixes, ones, and fives. That is a radar. It's not perfect from circulation. Uh, radars, radars can go for 15 to $20 without a problem. Like I said, this one isn't perfect. It's one that I found in circulation. And the last note is a web note. You can look here and see there's the lonely little number there. You can check this side. It does not have a position compared to this one that does have a position. No position there. And the other difference would be on the back. No mark there. The plate number is up top there. Uh, so a 1988A web note, uh, the first year that they made the web notes, uh, these go for about 15 bucks or so. So in total, you're talking almost $40 worth of notes. Uh, it doesn't seem like much, but what a way to collect fancies and experimental notes. You get them all at once. If you wanted all three, the buy it now price on this is going to be 25 bucks. You can take them all. That's like paying 15 for this and five a piece for these. So that's not too bad uh, for a buy it now price. But if you want to go the auction route, we'll start the auction at 12 bucks, $12. Remember 50 cent increments and uh, buy it now takes it first person that wants it at that price. Otherwise the 50 cent increments starting at 12 bucks. Whoever wants these can put a bid on those. That is number two. Item number three. Now, this one is a little interesting. All right. A lot of you guys love to see notes that are in the top 100. This is a top 100 note. This note can get a little on the pricey side. Uh, this note, if it was graded a 40, would be $2,000. <laughs> okay. It is not graded a 40. Uh, in fact, it would be graded about a 4. <laughs> What is this? This is an 1869 $1 legal tender. It is a rainbow, a $1 rainbow note, not in the greatest of shape. You can look real close and see 1869 right here on top. Um, yeah, it's missing the corner here. All the rainbows did have the star. It's just neat seeing a large size note with a star on it, but that's how they were all done. Now, if you ignore the corner and ignore the margins here, this particular imagery would look like it was about an eight. That's what I look for for an eight. But with the other damage to the note like this, um, that's going to put it at about a four. Now, the, here's the back of the note here. You can see it does have a little bit of a tear. It does have a hole here. Obviously, the corner missing. I'm not trying to make this note anything it isn't. Um, if I zoom in here real close, I mean, you can make out just about everything that's written on there. Uh, you can pause it if you like. I'm going over this. I've got it in sunlight so you can see everything as bright as you can. And let's take a peek once more at the front. So yeah, you can see the blue trailing into the green. That is the rainbow portion. Very hard crease here, hard crease here. Yeah, so I'm not trying to make it anything it's not. And the note is extremely limp. Okay, so once again, if I was to put a grade on this, I would grade it a four. Now, what does that mean as far as value goes? Well, like I said, if it was a 40, it was 2,000. If it was a 20, the price goes from 2,000 to 825. Uh, at a 
12, the price goes from 825 to 625. At an 8, it goes from 625 down to 400. So the lowest price they list for this note would be a grade 8 at 400. But let me show you the best way, that, the only thing that I can figure out as far as these go. All right. According to the book, uh, these gold certificates are extremely rare. So they actually list prices in F2, good 4, and very good 8. And when you start looking at the, those prices, it's the only book that I have that shows prices this low. But this note in VG8 goes for like 5 grand. Which means in good four, it's about 2500 And you can see all these prices. The difference between eight, here's 7500 3500 6500 is 3500 22000 is 10000 And down the line. So it's about half value, according to the book anyway. So that's, that's how I estimated the value on this particular note. So if this is a grade four, if we look at a grade eight... A grade 8 is 400 At a grade 4, that would put this at about $200. At least that's how I would figure. Uh, I am not going to ask $200 on this note. In fact, if you want to buy it now, the buy it now price on this particular note would be $150. So it's less than that. And, of course, if that seems a little high, then we will definitely go the auction route. And for auctioning, we will start this off at 90 bucks. $90, you can go $1 increments up until 100 Then we'll do $5 increments if it gets that high. But yeah, buy it now, 150 uh, The increments for bidding will start at 90 bucks. So that is number uh, three on the list. Number two, or um, number four, sorry, I'm used to counting down, not up. <laughs> number four on the list, this is a 1928 gold certificate, $10 gold certificate from 1928. You can see it's got the gold seal here, the gold numbers. Uh, it is green on the back. Now, I, I want to make it very clear, there are creases, you know, but it's not really that bad. Uh, you can see some uh, handling here, some dirt here. Uh, the corner isn't razor sharp. So, I mean, the note has been handled. Um, I will hold this up right next to a white note so you can see that it does have a little bit of a darker color. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to be as fair as possible. I want you to see you know, new paper compared to old paper. So it is just slightly yellowed a little bit from age. So the $10 gold certificate... Um, it's all right. It's in decent condition. Small size gold certificate. Always fun to have in the collection if you don't have one. 1928 $10 gold certificate. Uh, in VG8 is $100. In a 12, it's $145. Uh, this is not an 8. It's much better than an 8. 12, probably better than 12. Uh, at 20, it's 175 So I would put this note somewhere between 15 and 20 uh, without a problem. 20 you're talking 175 my buy it now price on this particular note 140 bucks and if you don't want to buy it now we'll start the auction at 90 bucks so 90 dollars once again under 100 you can do one dollar increments once we're over 100 we'll go by fives but yeah 1928 10 dollar gold certificate starting at 90 dollars or buy it now for 140. and finally for this week I have to slide all this out of the way. I am going to give you guys a shot at this. <laughs> this is my 1923 boxed <laughs> large size note. It comes in the display case, wooden display case. Uh, I think that's glass. Eh, maybe it's plastic. I'm not sure. Comes in, comes in a display case. You can see how thick it is. It's got the last large size $1 silver certificate on there. You guys saw the video on this. They did not put a silver certificate. They put a legal tender. Uh, the box does open up. You can see there is the padding all the way around. You have this nice hard case that fits right in there. There's the description of the last silver certificate, even though they put in the legal tender. Not only are you getting the box, the note, I do have all of the paperwork, including the oops letter that says we goofed. And I've got the ad for what they wanted to sell this exact thing for. Now in the ad, you can see right here where to go. 
they wanted to sell this for $329 plus $7 shipping and service. So $335 bucks basically is what they were asking, what the company was asking for this brand new. I don't even know how old this thing is. Um, but I am not going to sell this for $330. I'm not going to do that to you guys. Um, the note itself, the note itself that's in here, if that note was an 8 you're talking $150 on this note. And I will bring this up a little closer so you can see. Once again, it does have wrinkles. It's not perfect. It is a circulated note. Creases here. Take a peek at the back. You know, but the note is all there. I'd say this is probably a 15, maybe a 20. Depending on the day of the week and how much sleep the grader got. Um, yeah, so 15 to 20 on the note. Um... In an 8, it's 150. In a 12, it's 200. In a 20, it's 275. So if we call it a 20 at 275, uh, the people who are selling this estimated their case to be worth 50 to $60. Um, you can buy this entire display with all the paperwork. Like I said, they were going to sell all this for $335 back whenever it was. Uh, the buy it now on this... We'll call it uh, 299 Two ninety nine for the buy it now. Uh, so you're saving 30 to $40 off of the original MSRP. <laughs> and like I said, that's only $20 more than paying for the note in a 20. The note is 275 Yeah, 299 getting the case and everything else is a pretty good deal, I think. But if you'd rather go with the auction style, we will start the auction at 225 so at two twenty-five, remember since that's over a hundred, we'll we'll do five dollar increments on that. So yeah, two twenty-five is the start on this particular one. Two ninety-nine if you would like to buy it now. All of these items come with free shipping, so keep that in mind. Um, what would it cost to ship this? Ten bucks? Okay. <laughs> what would it cost to ship all the other ones? You know, five dollars or so. Um, so keep that in mind when you're bidding. I'm not charging you guys the shipping. Obviously, I'm going to have to pay for it. So, you know, like I said, <laughs> keep that in mind. So this was number five. Uh, number four was the gold certificate. Number three was the rainbow. Number two, uh, the found lot. And number one was the throw-in lot. All right, guys. Have at it. Enjoy. Uh, if this goes over well, I'll uh, actively look for stuff to, to put up here for you guys to buy. Uh, if not, I'll just continue throwing my finds up on eBay and see what happens that way. I'd just rather you guys have the first shot at it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, any questions, you can send me an email at stewplubeck at msn.com, and I'll be happy to answer them. Have fun bidding, and uh, we'll see who gets it next week. Bye, guys.